it's very difficult to even get to the point where you go and see a weight loss doctor. And it's extremely difficult when you get to the point that you think, well, maybe I need weight loss surgery. And then you've got this very difficult concept about what surgery do you choose? There's the gastric bypass that's been around for many, many years. But then there's the sleeve gastrectomy that lots of people are talking about and has become the most commonly performed procedure. How do you choose between the two? Well, first of all, to really choose, you need to sit down with an expert who could go over all the pros and cons of both procedures. Generally speaking, there are times that I really like the gastric bypass and there's times that I like the sleeve gastrectomy. In general, I find that the gastric bypass does lose a little bit more weight and it seems to keep that weight off long term a little bit better than the sleeve does. In certain people, that's going to be more important. If you have a very high weight, for instance, a body mass index that's above 50, I think you're going to do better with a bypass, which is not to say that you can't do well with a sleeve, but on average, you'll do better with a bypass. During the gastric bypass, we bypass part of the pancreas. And this really does help with diabetes. So if you're diabetic, I do tend towards a gastric bypass. Now, there's different degrees of diabetes. You may be a very early onset diabetic who's on one medication, and in that case, the sleeve is fine. But if you're on a lot of medications and having a real hard time keeping your blood sugar under control, I definitely lean towards the gastric bypass. When it comes to reflux and heartburn, that's where the gastric bypass really shines. Remember, we're bypassing part of the stomach that has acid. So if that acid can't get up into the esophagus, that's really going to help with your reflux. Conversely, if you get bad reflux, a sleeve gastrectomy could actually make this worse. So to review, if you've got really bad reflux, I like the gastric bypass. If you've got diabetes, I like the gastric bypass. If you've got a whole lot of weight to lose, I like the gastric bypass. If you are older and it's harder to lose weight and you've got more issues with walking and movement, I tend to like the bypass. Now, on the flip side, if you are a young, healthy person who could participate in the lifestyle changes that I want you to make in order to be successful, then I actually do favor the sleeve. There are some simplicities with the sleeve gastrectomy. We're not bypassing any intestine. So there's very low risk of complications. There's very low risk of vitamin deficiencies. There's very low risk of having issues where there's bleeding or leaking along staple lines. And there's very low risk of long-term issues such as ulcers. But with the sleeve, we do have to be concerned about the reflux and heartburn issues. So these are the different things that we will discuss when you sit and meet with me, and we can come up to what's best for you. There are some other surgeries out there, things like the duodenal switch, which I do in certain situations, but those are in more obscure situations, people that need to lose a whole bunch of weight. As for lap bands and balloons that go into the stomach, I simply do not believe that these are safe and effective procedures, but we could discuss that when you come and see me.